Disturbing news in the Thane building collapse in Mumbai. The death toll in this collapse has now risen to 30. 17 of the injured, uh, nearly 60 injured, have in fact been discharged from the hospital. The accident occurred after an under construction building collapsed late Thursday evening. The building collapsed in the Shield Fatta area at 6.30 on Thursday evening and now a case of culpable homicide has been registered against the builders, contractors and supervisors of this building. The reason behind the large number of deaths is that the under construction building was occupied by 35 families. Civic authorities say that the building was unauthorized. Locals have complained about the building after seven floors were constructed within a span of just four months and substandard material was used by the builder. जिसने बिल्डिंग बनाई है उसके खिलाफ हमने 304 का मुकदमा दाखिल किया है और हम उनको ढूंढ रहे हैं और निश्चित जल्दी से जल्दी उनको अरेस्ट करेंगे उनका कुरैशी और सलीम दो लाम है और भी उनके पार्टनर हैं जो भी हो मैं इन्वेस्टिगेशन हम कर रहे हैं एट शिल्ड लाइगर पुलिस स्टेशन द ऑफेंस हैज बीन रजिस्टर्ड अंडर सेक्शन 304 कल्पेबल होमिसाइड अगेंस्ट टू पर्संस एंड पॉसिबिलिटी इज दैट देयर मे बी इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ सम अनदर फ्यू पर्संस वो आर लुकिंग फॉर दैट Uh, since yesterday, so many officers and uh, even senior officer officers and a uh, few policemen and paramilitary force have been deployed here. So there is no issue of law and order. All the area has been cordoned off here. What do you think about this? How dangerous is it? The situation is very dangerous. No doubt about it. But in this situation, if you are going to save the situation, तो मेरे ख्याल से प्रशासन को कड़ी से कड़ी कार्रवाई इसके आगे करनी पड़ेगी क्योंकि बुमराह और इस एरिया में इतने इतने सारे अनऑथराइज बिल्डिंग्स हो गए हैं कि अगर हर एक धोखा अगर वो धोखे से टल रहे हैं तो इसके ऊपर बहुत गंभीरता से कार्रवाई करनी पड़ेगी मैं अभी हाउस में जा रहा हूँ मैं भी सी साहब को ये अवगत करा देता हूँ कि यहाँ पे क्या करना चाहिए और क्या नहीं और सरकार डेफिनेटली इसका सहानुभूति पूर्वक विचार करेगी well, getting us the very latest from Ground Zero, my colleague Vikas Mishra joins us at this point of time. Uh, Vikas, the death toll only rising now. 30 is the last count. Uh, as I speak, Preeti, the death toll has now increased to 31. Uh, and a uh, lot of, uh, since morning, they have uh, four to five dead bodies that have been recovered from under the debris. Uh, right now, the SK operation is still on and there is still possibility of several people still being uh, uh, there, there under the debris. Uh, and the rescue people saying that the, it will still continue with the rescue operation by late evening because they are taking all the precautions because they still hope that even if they find still single person alive, they will be, uh, it will be a very successful operation for them. But uh, uh, for, since morning, what, uh, whichever body they have found, we have, they have found a dead body and uh, dead toll has increased from uh, 29 uh, to 31. Uh -huh. And they still think that there will be several other dead bodies which can be found and rescue operation is still on. Preeti. You know, because it's a massive tragedy. In two months, this particular building came forth. Uh, the municipal cooperation cannot not know what was going on, uh, Vikas, because the eighth floor was being illegally built. Two months it took for the seven stories to come up. The second floor of this building was being used illegally for commercial purposes as well. Man, man. Uh, 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 what the local says here that it's a all, it's an illegal construction business which goes around in this Mumra city and this is not the only example there are several other buildings uh, which have been part of this illegal construction and this could be set an example to recorrect the mistakes done by the local authorities and then all the local complaints says that there are several complaints which have been made uh, to the local uh, BMC authorities uh, where they have complained about the illegal construction and this construction which has collapsed which uh, the construction was done within four months so it is very surprising that the whole uh, eight-story building was constructed in, within a time span of four months. Uh, so there is a poor quality construction, uh, people not being aware, local authorities and political nexus which is coming out. And police have uh, arrested a case of culpable homicide but both the co contractors of, on whom the case is arrested is absconding. While they were yesterday when the building collapsed, they were there on the spot. Right. So there is a lot of, uh, lot of angst people, uh, locals saying that there is a lot of nexus between local politician police right. as well as the con construction guys. Uh, so that's the reason all this kind of illegal uh, construction has taken place here. Preeti. You know, because Yesterday we spoke uh, to the PR of the municipal corporation and at that point of time he had said uh, that they had already given a notice however they did not know who the builders were so clearly it does seem that there was a nexus between the municipal corporation as well as the builders. Uh, can, can, you, can you repeat your question please? Because yesterday we spoke to the PRO of the municipal corporation 
Now, Mr. Malwe, when he spoke to us, said very clearly that uh, they had been sending notices till now. However, they had no idea who the builder was. So clearly, there is a lot of slips between the cup and the lips. The municipal cooperation seems at this point of time to be hand in glove with the builders and contractors. Uh, what we learning from Preeti from the ground zero that uh, there, is, there is totally a nexus between the local authorities and the politician and the construction guys because without the nexus it cannot take place a eight story building cannot be constructed here and what local claims that there have been severally the 60 to 70 percent of the construction is happening in Mumbra city from last since, since the last four to five years is illegal there is no proper documentation there is no proper permission of the construction and this building is an example which was constructed within a time span of four months it is next to impossible to construct a building Exactly. in four months and what the result is that we are seeing 